The kamae in kendo is the basis of all of kendo's movements. My name is Andy Fisher, and in today's episode of The Kendo Show, we're going to look at how to adopt the kamae. To assume the basic fighting posture, or kamae, in kendo, you first have to learn how to do something called sonkyo. This is another expression of manes, or dei, and uh, it's very important in actually assuming the fighting posture. Also, uh, the concept of kamae in kendo is very deep and very philosophical, but today we're going to just look at the physical aspects of it, and maybe in some later videos we'll explore some of the more philosophical uh, aspects of the idea of kamae. It is indeed the basis of all of kendo's movement, and it's extremely important that you pay attention to getting it right. And you can't really practice it enough. So it's something that you can even practice at home in front of a mirror um, or even in, in your kitchen or whatever um, if you, know, you really need to make sure that you're paying attention to getting your kamae right. Every encounter in kendo begins and ends with sonkyo. Sonkyo is an expression of manners or dei that is used usually at the start of a specific practice or even at the start of a match in a shiai or tournament, and also at the beginning and end of a grading exam. It starts from the shizentai posture, where we first bow towards our partner. This is done at about 15 degrees, with the eyes locked on and keeping eye contact. This is called ritsudei in this way. From here, the shinai is raised to taito with the handle, the tsukagashira, the end of the handle, in approximately the center of our body. The thumb is on the tsuba, or the hand guard, and the tsukagashira, or the tip of the handle, is in a higher position than the actual tip of the shinai, or the kensin, like this. From here, we take three wide steps towards our aite. On the third step, as the right foot is placed out, the hand comes to the hilt of the shinai by the tsuba and it's drawn straight out in front. It then comes out in front of us and stays in the middle of our body. The left foot comes up to an approximate, almost 90 degree angle in a sort of L shape, a reversed L shape. The weight is kept over our hips with our back straight, shoulders relaxed, relaxed, neck straight and chin and face facing straight forward. And from here, using our calves and thighs, we bend the knees and drop our weight straight down. In this way. It's important to keep the shinai as still as possible as we do this. From here, the shinai stays still without waving or wavering around, like this, okay? You can't use the shinai as a counterbalance. You must balance your weight directly over your hips and drop it straight downwards in this way, okay? Then as we stand again using the calves and the thighs, we send our weight straight back up again, okay? And the, as we stand, the left foot turns towards uh, the front, towards our aite, and we can then start to make the basic fighting posture. Some points that are very important to note, as we sink down to sonkyo, the foot turns slightly to the side, and we keep the back straight. We must not lean forward or let our head come forward. Many people focus basically on the act of getting closer to the floor, and this brings their head closer, like this, okay? Many people let their backside come out. This is a common mistake you may see, like this, okay? From the side, nice and straight, and literally straight down, like this, and straight back up again, without wavering the shinai, here, and back up. Don't lean forward, don't lean backwards, okay? 
because you'll fall over and it'll be very embarrassing, okay? So again, last time from Shizentai, first we bow, keeping eye contact, Taito, three steps, wide steps towards our Aite, and on the third step, we draw the Shinai. Keeping it in the middle, we drop straight down to Sonkyo. And then we stand and we begin our practice. Once our practice is over, we return to where we started. Keep the shinai in the middle, drop our weight straight down and return to the sonkyo position. We then return the shinai by literally, this is, this is something that many people struggle with. They do all sorts of things. They get a bit confused as how to put the shinai away. All you need to do is turn your wrist this way towards yourself as if you were drinking a, a glass of, or a, a, cup of, a cup of coffee like this, okay? Just like this, okay? And take hold of it here, back to the tight or posture, okay? Or position. Stand straight back up. And this time, as we go back to where we started, instead of the three steps that we took to come in, we take five smaller steps that cover the same distance as the initial three steps. Five steps backwards, and on the final one, the feet come back to the Shizentai posture, as does the body. We resume the Sageto position with the sword, or the Shinai, and we perform the same uh, Ritsude as we did at the beginning. Okay, so that's how to do Sonkyo, okay? So after we've done Sonkyo and we stand up and we're ready to perform uh, whatever practice it is that we're going to do, first we need to assume the Kamae or the fighting stance, okay? To do this, first of all, and the most important aspect of the Kamae is your feet. I'm gonna lift my Hakama slightly so you can see it, but the, basically the right foot goes out in front. The distance between the feet is approximately shoulder width. And the big toe of the left foot goes just at approximately the level of the back of the right heel, okay? The weight is evenly, uh, evenly balanced with a slight bias towards the left leg. The left heel is slightly raised. And the, although the right foot appears to be flat on the floor, the weight is centered around the ball of the foot and the heel is only lightly touching. Our feet should be um, in a position on the floor where they're not planted down heavily and you should be able to easily move your feet around, okay? So that should you decide to move forward or backwards, you can do so smoothly and easily, okay? Without making this sort of clunky uh, movements. Okay, so first off, we've got our feet in position, toes all pointing straight forward. If you come to Kendo from a different martial arts background, then maybe you've done this sort of uh, stance or something, I don't know, uh, but Kendo is very different, okay? We, f we face straight on to our, uh, our partner, and uh, our, our movements are very linear, so we like to keep our feet and our toes straight towards our opponent. And uh, one, one little tip, if you, if you find yourself with the toes turning outwards like this, okay, um, you're gonna get yourself a lot of blisters on the bottom of your feet, okay? So you've got a good incentive to, uh, to keep the toes pointing forward, okay? So once we've done that, we keep the posture nice and straight as it was in the Shizentai posture. Nice and straight, weight over the hips, okay? And with, if anything, uh, we're ready to move by pushing from our left calf, okay? Our left leg is what's going to move us forward and backwards. Well, backwards, maybe a little bit from the right as well, okay? But essentially going forwards, it's a push from the left leg, okay? So from there, we're gonna hold the shinai out in front of us. This is called chudan no kamae, okay? It's the basic and the most uh, common or prevalent uh, stance in kendo. It's where we hold the shinai out towards our opponent. Okay, there are other stances as well, but uh, it's generally accepted that we start with 
Chudan no Kamae, or just Chudan, as it's often called. So, we're going to hold the Shinai with our left hand at the bottom of the tsuka, or the handle, okay? With the, uh, the little finger right, right wrapped around the very end of the tsuka, okay? The right hand is going to go by the tsuba. The main gripping of the shinai is done with the left hand and particularly with the little finger and the left ring finger. After that, it can be held reasonably lightly. The wrists must face each, face each other, okay? Facing each other. And as if the shinai has been gripped, gripped from above, okay? We don't want to hold it from the sides with the wrists facing towards our body, okay? the wrists facing inwards towards each other, okay? As you hold it, you can think of it, particularly with the right hand, but also with the left hand as well. Many teachers say as if you were going to shake hands, okay? The same position as if you were shaking hands with the shinai, okay? The uh, tsukagashira, the end of the tsuka, should be around a fist's uh, space from your abdomen, perhaps a little bit more depending on your actual bodily proportions, okay? But you don't want to hold it out too far like this and you don't want to hold it too close like this either, okay? Uh, shoulders relaxed, elbows relaxed. Shoulders are straight, okay? We're not this way or this way. Shoulders are nice and straight. We've got a nice open posture ready to accept the, uh, the attacks of our partner, okay? It's a very difficult concept, but uh, it's a very important philosophical aspect of Kendall is allowing ourselves to be uh, welcoming of attack. <clears throat> the shinai must stay in the middle of your body, okay? In the, very, in, the, in the center line. Elbows not too straight, okay? And it should be it held in a way in which it can be easily moved, but its resting position is in the middle of your body, okay? In this way. The height of the Kenzen should be at an approximate extended line towards an imaginary opponent's throat, okay? That's not the same height as your own throat. Your own throat is about here, okay? But it's, if there's another person stood, another Shinai's with the way, it's slightly lower. Okay, from here. And from here, we're able to perform basic movements, whether it's going forward and backwards, or whether it's by doing other more advanced movements. From here, we make sure that we're nice and relaxed. We've got a little bit of tension in our left leg, ready to move us, and a little bit in our left hand, ready to move the shinai, should we be ready to strike, okay? Common mistakes, too much tension in the shoulders and in the elbows, wrists facing ourselves, okay? Gripping the shinai too hard, yeah? Um, a skewed posture, feet facing outwards, things like that. They're all things you want to avoid, okay? Keep the, the toes towards your opponent, and keep your posture straight and welcoming to your opponent's attacks as well. And that is how to make the basic fighting posture for Kendall. Okay, so there was an introduction to the kamae and how to adopt the kamae or fighting posture through using sonkyo in Kendall. I hope it was enjoyable and informative. Of course, it's a very uh, deep and philosophical topic, and we've just really grazed the surface of it here, just touching on the physical aspects of it. Uh, but indeed, I do hope uh, you enjoyed the video, and if so, do please give it a like, give it a share on Facebook and what have you. Uh, and also, of course, if you haven't done already, make sure you hit that subscribe button just down there. Um, the Kendall Show, of course, it's a, a free, service that's coming to you via the power of the internet. Uh, I hope it's an enjoyable um, experience for you and we've got loads of cool uh, content coming up. We've got loads of cool videos planned for you guys. 
Um, it's supported by another project of mine called Kendo Star. Kendo Star is a brand new concept uh, that I came up with of bringing to the world Japanese high quality kendogu or, or the armor, the bogu, um, that's specifically tailored to fit the needs of kendoka around the world. It's all top quality stuff and it's all made in Japan. So make sure you get onto uh, kendostar.com as well. Check out what we've got over there. It's a great site, so please do have a look. Okay, that's it for today. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching this episode of The Kendo Show. If you enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed bringing it to you, please consider contributing to our Patreon fund. This will help us keep bringing content to you on a regular basis and continually improving the quality. Thank you so much for your continued support.